Boys and girls, today we're on lesson 3.3, skip count on a number line on page 151. This video today will likely be fairly short. We're used to this type of strategy, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. And as always, we'll start with unlock the problem. It says, Caleb wants to make three balls of yarn for his cat to play with. He uses six feet of yarn to make each ball. How many feet of yarn does Caleb need in all? So first thing we're going to do is look at the blue box here. How many equal groups of yarn will Caleb make? Well, he's making three balls of yarn, so it's going to be it's going to be three equal groups then. How many feet of yarn will be in each group? Six feet of yarn in each group. What do you need to find? And that's just the question here, so we can even circle the question and just draw an arrow. Okay? All right. So if you think you're comfortable doing this part on your own, you can pause the video, work through all of this stuff, and then start the video up again to see if your work matches mine. If you're not quite ready for it, just follow along with me. All right. It says here to use a number line to count equal groups. How many feet of yarn does Caleb need for each ball? And we said that was six feet for each ball. How many equal lengths of yarn does he need? And again, three balls of yarn. So he's going to need three equal lengths. So we always start at zero here when we do our skip counting. And then we'll count by sixes. So zero and six and six more is 12, and six more is 18. Now, if you have to count it, you can. Let's say we were here, and we're counting six more, right? So we move first and then count. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's why we ended up on the 12, because six plus six is 12. All right, let's move down a little bit further here. How many jumps did we make? We made three jumps. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that. There we go. Now I'll write three in there. How long is each jump? Each jump is six. And we ended up at 18. So three times six is 18. So Caleb needs 18 feet of yarn. All right. And that'll do it for that page. Um, why did we jump by sixes? Because he used six feet of yarn on each ball. Right. So well, I'm going to look at the next page. This is share and show. I'm only going to go over the first one, and then two, three, and four you'll do on your own and come and show it to me. Um, the first one here, why don't you go ahead, I'll read the question, then you can pause the video and do that on your own. It says, skip count by drawing jumps on the number line. Find how many in five jumps of four. Make sure you're jumping by four, and you do that five times. And then it does say to write the product after that. So I'll pause the video, do your five jumps of four, and write the product. Okay, I'm assuming you have, ooh, sorry about that. I'm assuming you've done your work. You've done your five jumps of four, and so I'll do that now. We start at zero, count by fours. There's four, eight, 12, 16, and four more is 20. Now, do I have five jumps? There's one two, three, four, I have my five jumps. So five times four was 20. So that's what I expect to see from you as you do two, three, and four, very similar type of work, right? Make sure you draw the right number of jumps, jump by the right amount, and write the product for the multiplication page. But boys and girls, that's all I have for you today on the video. Um, and when you're done with share and show, please show me your work. And then you can move on to your independent work. As always, this is Mr. P, and I am out.